The first secret to Gandalf's wisdom lies in his unending curiosity. Gandalf was more than a wizard. He was a scholar, a seeker of knowledge. Picture him spending a day with the Ents, the ancient tree herders, immersing himself in their slow, deep wisdom. He found joy in uncovering the stories of Middle Earth's trees, a curiosity that we should all strive to emulate. So, let's take a leaf from Gandalf's book and dive into the magical pool of information. Embrace curiosity and become your own wizard of wisdom. Gandalf's wisdom wasn't just about knowledge, it was about understanding, and that comes from being a good listener. You see, Gandalf, with all his magical prowess, didn't just hear the words spoken around him, he truly listened. He soaked in every story, every tale, every piece of wisdom shared in his presence. Now, let's take a trip down the lanes of Middle-earth. Do you recall the time Gandalf listened to the tales of hobbits? He didn't dismiss their words as mere hobbit talk. Instead, he listened actively, understanding the undertones the subtle hints of wisdom woven into their simple lives. And guess what? One fine day, a hobbit shared a tiny piece of wisdom that Gandalf tucked away in his wizardly brain. And that little nugget of wisdom saved the day. So, what's the lesson here? Remember, wisdom might be hiding in the most unexpected places, so tune in and listen. Life's challenges are like epic quests, and Gandalf knew how to face them with a grin. Just as Gandalf stood tall in the face of the fiery Balrog, we too must learn to embrace adversity with a smile. He could have run in fear, but instead he chose to confront the beast with courage and a twinkle in his eye. This is the essence of resilience, the ability to stand strong in the face of adversity, to smile when the odds are against us, and to move forward with unwavering determination. Gandalf's encounter with the Balrog was no walk in the park, but he faced it head-on and emerged stronger because of it. His story reminds us that life's challenges aren't roadblocks, they're stepping stones on our path to wisdom. So, the next time you face a Balrog of your own, remember to face it with Gandalf-like grit and a twinkle in your eye. Gandalf's wisdom wasn't an isolated journey, he knew the value of good company. You see, Wisdom is not merely a product of solitude. It flourishes in the company of others, especially those who are different from us. Just like Gandalf, who chose a fellowship as diverse as a hobbit, a dwarf, an elf, and a man. Each brought unique insights, experiences, and skills to the table. This diverse fellowship was not only Gandalf's support system, but also a source of wisdom. It is in the richness of these varied perspectives that wisdom truly blossoms. So, keep your circle wide and varied. Seek out those who challenge you, inspire you, and support you. Build your own fellowship of friends who inspire, challenge, and support you. Lastly, Gandalf teaches us the magic of patience. Wisdom, much like a tree, doesn't sprout overnight. It needs time to grow to spread its roots deep into the soil of experience and knowledge. Consider Gandalf's relationship with Frodo. He didn't rush the young hobbit, didn't force him into his destiny. Instead, he offered guidance, allowed Frodo to find his own courage, his own wisdom. He was patient, for he knew that even the smallest seed could grow into a mighty tree. So, as we journey on our own paths to wisdom, let's remember to give ourselves the gift of patience. Let our wisdom grow at its own pace, nourishing it with our experiences. Remember, great things take time. Be patient with yourself and others.